This is the final episode of 2023, and it's quite crazy that a year has already gone by so fast. So uh, last episode, I mentioned that I would tell you the reason why I learned how to cook, and today I am by no means a professional cook. I am a, a at-home cook, and I pretty much am self-taught. And the reason why I went on this journey of learning how to cook was because of my mom.、Uh, when I was young, she was diagnosed with stage three cancer, which eventually led to stage four and her passing. But during that time, she used to cook all the meals. And when she got sick, she got a lot weaker, and I felt really bad that she was cooking, and it was clearly taking a lot of time and energy from her. So I offered to take over the job, and one of the first dishes that I ever made actually was the first dish I was ever made because it was so memorable on how terrible it was.、Um, I actually remember that dish, and I remember the basic idea of what she used, but I didn't really know how. So I took all the similar ingredients, which now in hindsight was probably a fusion of a Vietnamese and Filipino adobo chicken dish, and I put it all together and I cooked it, and I somehow managed to braise the chicken so much that it was drier than cardboard, and it was amazingly terrible. And she, out of politeness, she ate it. Kinda, not really, but and she said, "Oh, it was fine. It was not. It was absolutely terrible." And no, if if the cancer wasn't gonna kill her, I probably was. So I started learning how to cook, and I started by just reading stuff on the internet. And this was kind of before YouTube was really big, so I wasn't going to YouTube to look for cooking tutorials. I was more just searching the internet at that time, and. I did find some random recipes, and I did started realizing that I should learn how, the basics of cooking, like fundamental techniques and things like that, and concepts. Because once you learn basic concepts and techniques, you can master a lot more different cook different things. Technique helps you speed up your cooking time, and concepts allows you to develop new dishes and do inspirations and. Do your own versions of things. So I basically started learning all sorts of different techniques, and I would try them all the time, and I would make new dishes for my mom, which at this point now was a lot better, and she actually ate it. Unfortunately, as time went on, it became a race against her cancer, because as her cancer progressed, her loss of taste and desire, and when chemotherapy got thrown in the process, she barely wanted to eat. So I had to go way crazier on the cooking spectrum and do things that normally I think she probably would have never eaten, just to basically create something new, something strong in flavor that she would overpower her lack of taste. And it was basically a race to the end. And over the year, I learned numerous techniques to speed up my cooking, and I learned numerous concepts. And the fundamental of said concept, so I could change it up and make new dishes for her. And after she passed, I realized I did enjoy cooking, and I continued to cook. And I think at this point, I, I'm going to change this channel to more focus on experimental dishes or my own version of dishes, because I do enjoy cooking, and I want to share things I've tried with you guys. Well, thank you for listening. I wish you all a happy holidays, and I look forward to you liking and subscribing and joining my channel for future episodes where I experiment with food. So please like and subscribe, and see you in 2024.